I think this is the front, Kay. No. Oh no, this is not the front. Story of our lives. Good morning. morning. I'm Preston. And I'm Krista. And welcome back to our channel. And today I'm particularly excited because we're about to do a scavenger hunt through DC. So what is this scavenger hunt? Well, to commemorate Europe Day, which is May 9th, mm -hmm. all the members of the European Union, the embassies in, the, in Washington, D.C. are collaborating together to do a campaign that's called Go Outside with EU. So scattered across D.C. are 27 different locations where you can find fun facts about the different European Union members. And instead of walking to all these 27 different locations, we're going to get on our bikes and zip around town. Um, not really sure how long it's going to take us, 27, but I'm up for the challenge. Yeah, energy levels are here. Hopefully they stay around here. Hopefully they don't get down here, but we'll see what happens. And if we're feeling peckish, we might find, hopefully, some goodies to eat along the way to help us with our energy levels. That's right. So while we're excited to learn more about the different European Union members, uh, it is also a great way to see DC from another lens. So let's see what happens. You ready? Yes, I am. I'm ready. Three, two, two one. one. Made it to the first location which is the Iwo Jima Memorial. Definitely recommend a visit if you haven't been so. Our first challenge is answer this question. How many Marines are pictured with Slovak war hero Michael Strank? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, sixteen, seventeen. I count seventeen. Eighteen? Oh, I didn't count that guy. Eighteen it is. First challenge done. 26 more to go. All right, challenge number two is Georgetown. Wow, Georgetown is so beautiful. With all the red brick buildings, look at this. All right. Number two, this is Our Lady of Fatima. The statue was given to the university by which class year? 1950K. Yep. You got it? Got it. Done. Whoa. All right, number three. From that tree right there. It's a tree you can find in the Czech Republic, the linden tree. Okay, and what's the clue? What's the special message hanging from the tree at Baklav Havel's place? And it's hope for the state of mind, right? Hope is the state of mind. Cool. This is Alumni Square. All right, so we made it to our next one, which is House of Sweden here in Georgetown. Check this out. They have exhibits there, and it's right on the water over there. And look at all the boats. Katie's going for our next clue. All right, so we're at the House of Sweden, and the challenge is what type of bird makes the sound you hear? And KK got the answer, it is? A woodpecker. A woodpecker. Yes, Let's put it in. they have uh, speakers up there, and you can hear the woodpeckers. Oh, yeah. very cool. How are you enjoying this uh, scavenger hunt so far? It's so much fun. All right, yeah. and the next? We're going to go all the way to... St. Sophia Greek, Greek Orthodox. Orthodox Church. Next one, here we go. Made it to our next one, Hagia Sophia. Look at this. This was founded in 1904 by newly arrived Greek immigrants to serve the Greek Orthodox here in DC. So the challenge is how many steps are on the left side as you face the entrance? Is this the entrance? Yeah, we should just bike around. All right, so we might just go around a little bit. I think this is the front, Kay. No. Oh no, this is not the front. Yeah, where we were before was the front. Story of our lives. <laughs> so that's the face. We counted 12 here, but just in case, we also counted 12 here. 
Why? Because KK said it was for the 12 apostles, so I think that's the right answer. All right, KK, okay, next, next one, done. on our map. Let's Where do we go now? Denmark. All right, this is not part of the challenge, but this is the Embassy of Norway. Ooh, Finland's embassy is so cool. This is by far one of the coolest looking embassies. This also is not part of the challenge, but because Krista is part Finnish, we just have to come and pay our respects. Yeah, yeah, we're actually on Embassy Row right now, Massachusetts Avenue. Yeah, so DC has something called Embassy Row, which has a lot of embassies on either side. Yeah. Locate the cargo bike in front of the embassy and look inside the bike for a little booklet. On page 33, what is the name of the design described that has helped millions of school children worldwide? Little Sun combines the world of art and design with pragmatic clean energy solutions. I think that's it. Yep, little sun. Oh! Awesome. Nice. Next one. Let's go Korea. Let's go Korea. Korea, Korea. All right. Next one is the Embassy of Slovenia. Find the stainless steel sculpture. What is its title? Sentinel. Up next is Ireland. We're at a small little park here, and I think I have to go to the sculpture, which is right behind the street. Robert Emmett, Irish Patriot. All right, so the challenge is underneath the quote here, on the back of the statue, you'll find shamrocks. How many are there? Look at this. One, two, three. Three, KK. All right, Embassy of Croatia is the next challenge. This is the Saint Jerome the Priest. And the challenge is to take a selfie with the priest, KK. Go on. Jeez, KK, smile. All right, next challenge is in front of the Embassy of Latvia. It says, in front of the embassy, you'll find a little free library. The first such library by an embassy in DC. Read the description of the little free library and fill in the blank. Latvia is one of the most blank nations. Introverted. Introverted. <laughs> Don't forget to take a book. All right, this is the embassy of the Grand Duchy of Luxembourg. The challenge is, find the plaque outside. What is the third to last word inscribed? Independence. Independence. All right, next is Estonia. How many windows are on the second floor? I think this is it, but as you can see, it is completely getting destroyed or renovated. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I counted 15 too. All right, I hope that's the right one. A couple blocks down from Estonia, we have Bulgaria. Challenge is when you stand facing the embassy, on which side of you is the sign Dimitar Peshev Plaza located on your left or your right? I don't see. So, the over here. Oh. The street sign? Yeah. Okay, so left? Left? Next one, Embassy of Cyprus. You can see me up in the air, a golden green leaf thrown into the sea. What am I? What is it? Flag. Oh. That's the flag. That's the flag, okay. All right, next challenge is this, European house. Standing outside the entrance to the far right, you'll see eight words. What is the second word? Democracy. Democracy. Done. Next one is Hungary. And it says, which former American president appears on the wall of the close suit house? And then the plaque of Theodore Roosevelt's right there. All right, made it to Lithuania. It says, how many steps does it take to walk from the embassy of Lithuania to the embassy of Poland? Um, that's not Poland. That's not Poland. Lithuania was down here and Poland's right here. So how many steps, Kay? Let's just guess. Yeah. I'm gonna say 350. All right, so Poland's, uh, what difference can you spot between the Constitution Day posters displayed outside of both the Polish and Lithuanian embassies? Kay said the logo position. That's it. All right, so we're at Meridian Park. And in this park, we're gonna find the clue for Italy. We need to find a statue. And I see the statue in front of me. It's so, so hard to read. Carlo Barsati. Done. 
Look at this. This is the mural Kindred by Sabek. So the challenge is, it's located between two iconic DC landmarks. What are they? Ben's Chili Bowls and Lincoln Theater, or Lincoln Theater and Busboy and Poets? Well, Ben's Chili Bowls, like right there. Can we, can we, can we bike that? Let's try. That's Ben's Chili Bowl for ya. All right. And this is the this is the theater right here. We are at Miko Nordic Foods, uh, where you can get Finnish food as well as other Scandinavian type fare. We've been here once before, mm -hmm. and, it, and it's such a blast. We wanted to come back again, but the reason why we're here is this is actually one of the locations for a scavenger hunt. Yeah. So it just <laughs> makes the best excuse to come yeah, and visit. Kill two birds with one stone. Exactly. Well, what do we have here? This is martini, pina salmon martini. Ooh. Thank you so much. Thank you. But yeah. what do we get? What do we get? Smoked salmon, open face sandwich, with a poached egg, and then this. Oh man. This is one of my favorite things in the world: Karelian pie, or kariram piraka, which is a rye bread dough. Uh, that's stuffed with rice and then topped with like an egg butter on top. They also make another version where it's stuffed with potato. Mm -hmm. So there, you can get potato ones or rice ones. Or we love both. Yeah, yeah. But basically after this, there's only six more places to go to. Six out of 27. Six <laughs> out of 27. That's crazy. Ah. All right. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Hope we can get back on the bike. I know. Might be a while. Oh, that's really good. Does it taste like Finland? Uh, tastes like a martini. I never had a martini in Finland. I was too young. That's right, that's right. Drink. Oh, something else is coming. It just nice. keeps on. Oh my oh, gosh. Oh, it's beautiful. Thank you so much. Wow. Oh my god. It's a mushroom omelette. I think we deserve this feast, considering we didn't eat anything today. We biked for four hours, and it's a gorgeous, gorgeous day. Time to enjoy Miko. <laughs> Okay, okay, the omelette was amazing. It was so much better than I expected. It was so fluffy. The umami of the truffles and the mushrooms were amazing. And the open sandwich was fantastic too. The smoked salmon, poached egg, everything has been phenomenal, including this Finnish summer martini. <laughs> but we won to document KK eating this. This is very unique to the country of Finland and it's one of my favorite things ever. Is it still warm? Mm, it's a little cold. Still good though? Yeah, still good. Oh it's yeah. More rice. All right, everything is devoured, but before we leave, we can't forget there's a challenge to be done here. So the challenge is there is a photograph by the entrance. What color is the snow suit worn? Red, orange, or yellow? I'm gonna guess red. Okie dokie. Well, that's what I said. That is a I just had to. What is it? It's a honey cake. No! <laughs> it was hidden in the corner, so I had to get it. I'm sorry, I know you're cake. full. Honey cake is one of our favorite desserts ever. We used to eat this all the time in London. I know, it got us super fat. <laughs> Two loves of my life. KK honey. <laughs> <laughs> this is number one. <laughs> okay, I hope it's good. I hope so. Is it acceptable? It is, it does taste like honey. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. I'm glad. <laughs> Doesn't taste like asparagus. It reminds me actually of like uh, honey graham crackers. Well, now we're gonna really be in a food coma, but when, when in doubt, you see honey cake, gotta leap at the chance. I'll go for it. All right, we just finished amazing Miko feast, and our next challenge is at the University of Belgium. Stand in front, you'll see Smurfs busily going about daily lives. How many Smurfs can you spot carrying a ladder keg? One, two, one, two. Where's the third? That's one. Oh, two. Yeah, just two. Oh, okay. Two it is. All right, last challenge is at the Willard Hotel. And then we have to find a plaque at the left of the entrance. John Monet. Let's try it. Right, 
Next challenge, we're at the German American Friendship Garden. And you can see the monument there, the White House there. Ooh. And so our challenge is which landmark is not visible from the garden? The monument, White House, Lockheeper's House, and Eclipse. See, Lockheeper's House, here we go. Such a beautiful day, okay, we're almost done. Almost Look at you. Be more. more. Made it to the next challenge at the Gallery of Art Sculpture Garden, but it's closed, KK. Ah, it's 4, 5, 54. Well, we've been here before. Do you think we can answer the question? Find the Chagall mosaic at the National Gallery. What kind of animals? We're going to do some creative problem solving right now. Chagall? Yeah, what mosaic? kind of animal with horns do you see? <gasps> is it a goat, sheep, or deer? Oh my gosh. That, what is that? Maybe a goat. I say goat. a goat. You say goat? Final answer? Final answer, goat. Okay. A. Submit. <gasps> no! Oh, maybe it's a sheep. What letter is that? Okay. 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 Yeah, we had, that was a little bit of a... That was a little hack. <laughs> Next one. <laughs> All right, so we're here in Judiciary Park. So the challenge here is how many Hunderwasser trees are still standing today? Count only the trees within the limits of the bounding walls, okay? Okay, 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 counting. You sure? 11. You sure it's 11? I think it's 11, yeah. Final answer. Do you want to count again? Five, six, seven. 11? Yeah! KK, one more left. Oh, one more Lord. left. Let's what time go. Is it? Four and a half hours. Oh no, almost five hours oh. and six o'clock. Oh my okay. god. One more. Okay. Made it to the last challenge. This is at the Museum of the Bible. I really want to visit it, but uh, this museum and many others are still closed, I believe. All right, so uh, the challenge is find the video monitor outside the museum bio featuring the Christmas in Malta. What is the closest intersection? D and Fourth and Virginia and Fourth. All right, let's find it. Hmm, Christmas in Malta. I don't see anything regarding Christmas in Malta, though. <laughs> I found it. I found it. Yes. Christmas in Malta. We did it. KK? Found it. D and fourth. Here we go. Three, two, one. Yay. Amazing. <laughs> KK, how do you feel after five hours? I'm pretty pooped. I'm pretty, I'm pretty pooped. Exhausted. I thought this was gonna take like two hours max. Oh, you did? <laughs> what? Wishful thinking. Yeah. I had a great time though. Me did you too. have a good time? Oh, I had so much fun. What a great way to see a city. I really like that small square in Georgetown where you had to kind of go through a really narrow the, hallway the like that. That was really, really cool. The, Dust the al alumni square Czech or something. Republic. That was mm -hmm. the Czech Republic. I, I also really like Miko, the food. I think I had to say Miko because the food is there. <laughs> and it's so hungry. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no, this was a spontaneous thing um, that we planned. KK discovered, so huge kudos to her. I honestly had a really, really good time. Um, it just made the Miko food taste so much better because we were on fumes at that time. Mm -hmm. um, but it's like six o'clock. What time do we leave home? Oh, whatever, five hours. Oh, we left home at. 11.30. 11.30? That's insane. Yeah. Wow. But we did it. And uh, hope you enjoyed watching this. It was quite the feat. Um, it was also pretty challenging shooting. Uh, five hours straight, 27 different activities. So hopefully I did a good enough job. 
<laughs> but uh, it just goes to show how bikeable and how much fun this city is. I feel like more tourist organizations for large cities would employ this kind of scavenger hunt. Like, uh, yeah, this is such a good idea to explore and get to know a city. Whether you've been there for a long time or just moved in, we had a blast. And really smart of them for adding one food location. That helped a lot. Mm -hmm. But uh, love this city, loving it more. Every time we discover something new and uh, hope you enjoyed watching this. I mean, That's Cake and I right. were burnt to a crisp here. Yeah, and if we just take a look at what it says. Yeah, what does it say? About uh, 25 miles. 25 miles, yeah. five hours. <sighs> okay, we're about what, like six blocks from home now? Yeah, we're about six blocks from home. Honestly, nothing planned than just to vegetate. And take a bath. And take a bath, well worth it. Peace out here for now, calling it a day. Thanks and hope this was fun. And we'll see you on the next, the next one. one. Bayonara. I think we got some crazy news. What is it, Kay? Uh, I have an email that says, EU Trek Scavenger Hunt, congratulations. You've been selected as one of our EU Trek Scavenger Hunt prize winners. We, we won? I think so. It says we're a prize winner. Woo! My <laughs> God, five hours was worth it. Yeah. I wonder what we're gonna get. I wonder what, it's probably gonna be a sticker. <laughs> I know. All right, so let's respond and click their prize. Okay, let's do it. Wow, great job. Wrong building, KK. Well, no, wrong entrance. Wrong entrance. We're going this way. Same building that we visited before during the scavenger hunt. All right, KK. After you. Collected our prize here, and we have Krista with Sergio. Hey, everyone. How are you? Uh, so glad you guys were able to participate in our scavenger hunt. Congratulations on being winners. Uh, we hope you will be with us again next spring when we have our EU open house, hopefully. Oh, that sounds like um, so much But fun. congratulations, we were really glad that you were able to participate. Thank you. This was so much fun, Sergio. Thank you so much to the EU delegation for hosting this scavenger hunt. Uh, no, it's our pleasure. And we always have events like this, so, you know, we welcome you guys to come back when we have something. Hopefully, we'll be able to open up to in-person events soon, but otherwise, you know, we have online events all the time. Looking forward to it. Thank you, Thank you. so much. Thank you, Sergio. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Oh. My. God. KK. This is no sticker. This is a freaking amazing goodie bag. All, oh, see, see. The, all the countries involved with the scavenger hunt contributed to the prize bag. Can't wait to dig into this. Oh, okay, we'll do a proper reveal once we get settled in. But anyways, great ending to the scavenger, KK. Congratulations again. Yay! <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't believe, again, we just got a massive grocery tote bag with some great items. What a great way to end the scavenger, huh, Kay? All right, what is inside the bag? Okay, uh, let's see, the first thing I grabbed is what is Playmobil. this? Playmobil. Playmobil. Uh, let's see. Is this Denmark? Oh. Or is this Poland? Malta? Malta, okay. Maybe. Is that the Maltese flag? Okay. We'll find out. Very cool. <laughs> Let us know. All right. Kevin to know what that is. Okay, next thing. Oh, I love you. Oh, that's so cute. How cute. Wow. Okay. We have here. Jeez, La Louise. Belle Epoque. So is that a uh, book? Yeah. Uh, it's music. It's French. Okay. French classical music. Or no. Oh, it's a CD in there? It's a CD. Uh, or is this German? Because it says Deutschland von Kultur. Wow. German. Oh, okay, made in Germany. It's German, not French. Excuse me, I'm sorry. What is this? Dante's Masterpiece resonates. Uh, is this the Inferno? Wow. From the Dark Wood to Paradise. That's a book, right? It's a book, yes. So this represents Italy. Okay. It's an audio book. Wow. Oh. Okay, and then here we have... Oh my gosh. A water bottle. This is going to come real handy. Super cute. Super cute. Okay. Um, I have this little goodie bag. What? Jennifer Rothwell. First okay. thing in here is 
An EU mask. An EU mask. Mm -hmm. Okay, very cool. What else? What is that? This. Uh, Jennifer Cro well, the cross is traditionally hung on the wall in the kitchen to prevent the house from fire and evil. Even today, the St. Bridget's cross can be found in many Irish homes. Ah, okay. Okay. So this must represent Ireland. Okay. Really cute packaging. I'm going to open it up. Whoa. Oh, it's also a face mask. Oh, wow. That's so pretty. Can you see? Yeah. Wow. Wow. It's like silk or feels so nice. The patterns that's, are really cool. That's really pretty. Where's it look? Very fashionable. How nice. Looks very nice. That's so pretty. Wow. These gifts are pretty cool. Yeah. Okay, okay. So this is Ireland. This represents Ireland. Uh, and there's also some Irish tea. Nice. Berries tea. Okay. Okay, so that was Ireland. And then here. Wait, is that a bottle? There's a bottle. Oh my gosh. What the heck? We got a, wait, hold on. What does that say? This Can is Hungarian wine? What? Uh, Ooh. amazing. <laughs> we, got a, we got a bottle of wine. From Hungary. From Hungary. Jesus. Wow. Here, look at this bag here. That's amazing. It's really gorgeous. Wow. Great logo. Okay. And then what else is in this bag? I think this is the Hungarian goodie bag. Oh. Oh my God. There's more? What is that? Wines and dishes. Wines. 22 wines. The marriage of flavors. Wow. Wine selected by the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Trade of Hungary. Recipes chosen by Magyar Konya Magazine. Awesome. And then a little pin, a Hungarian and American pin. Cool. A little rosette. Okay. Proud to be Hungarian. Wow. Wow. Oh my gosh, and this is gorgeous. What is this? It, uh, it's like embroidery. Wow. Like a table to put on a... Um, <laughs> Man, the vanity table or what sort of scavenger hunt gives gifts like these? Oh, I'm kind of speechless right now. I, me too. Oh my gosh! What? Oh my gosh! That's so beautiful. Wow. 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 Okay, that's amazing. Oh, I'm so happy. Yeah. Anything else? No, that's it. That's it. You know, honestly, I would have been just happy with the notebook, the notebook or maybe even this bottle, bottle, but how many things did we get here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Like fourteen, kind of fifteen things maybe? Oh my gosh. Yeah. And all of these were recently donated by the uh the different embassies. Yeah, this is incredible. Like this I mean, the fact that we're able to go inside the EU delegation building was really cool enough as is, but to get all this on top of everything, wow, truly made, I think this is the best scavenger hunt we've ever did. Perfect yeah. ending. And even if we didn't win, like it was such a fun scavenger hunt. Yeah, but the crazy thing is we got a bottle of wine, which I think will crack open right to now. To celebrate. <laughs> But uh, yeah, we had a blast and we told them, hey, if you have any other scavenger hunts and more events, like definitely let us know yeah. we'll do it again. Yeah, so next year, um, May is the embassy open house uh, season. So hopefully we can do that. Yeah, but this has been a blast <laughs> and I hope you enjoyed this video. And we're certainly gonna have a good night now with the hungry wine. <laughs> All right, we're saying farewell. For good. For good, yeah. All right. Our scavenger hunt adventure. All right. See you later. See you later. Bye. Oh, Nara. Nara.